Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on maximization and minimization. It says that there are uh, 100 people each. They were surveyed by Apple in three months, Jan, Feb, and March, to find out that how likely are they uh, willing to buy MacBook or iPhone. Okay, so 100 people surveyed in each of these three months, and uh, there is. Uh, an assumption that if a person responds somewhat likely to buy or very likely to buy that person will be categorized as likely to buy similarly if a person says that uh, they are somewhat unlikely or very unlikely they are considered as they will be not buying the product so for example in january if you see macbook 50 say that they are likely to buy 24 say that they are is 50 say very unlikely 24 say somewhat unlikely right so 74 people are unlikely to buy similarly if we consider these two so seven people are likely to buy like we can find for this also like this is 29 this is 59 so this is how we can find the number of people who are likely to buy who are unlikely to buy so that information will be used so the first question is in january at least how many of the persons surveyed are unlikely to buy macbook and are also unlikely to buy iphone so if we talk about January, so 74 people are unlikely to buy MacBook, we just saw. And how many are unlikely to buy iPhone? 17 plus 14, that is 31. Okay, now these questions can be done by Venn diagram or mathematically also, right? Uh, now, if you see this, we have to find how many of them are unlikely to buy both of these items. Now, 74 plus 31, we get 105 people. 105 people means there are 100 people only. So, if we subtract 100, we get 5. So, 5, what does this 5 extra signify? So, in a Venn diagram, if we draw a Venn diagram, this 5 signifies that they must have responded in both the cases. Okay, so, it is MacBook and this is iPhone, 74 and 31. So if you take 5 here, we will get 69 and this is uh, 26. Now see this total adds to 100, 100 people and what we are getting? 5 people who are unlikely to buy both the items. Now if we increase this 5, what will happen? If we increase this 5, if we make it 6, we will get 25 here and we will, uh, we will get 68 here. We can increase this number. So minimum we will get five and if we have to max uh, fill it maximum what maximum number we can put we can put seven eight nine ten any number we cannot go see this total is 31 so we cannot go beyond 31 so maximum we can put 31 here that will make zero and that will make 43 here now you must be wondering what about the remaining people the remaining people in can fall in other categories right undecided somewhat likely any other category so if you have to find the minimum, so minimum will be 5 and if they had asked for the maximum, if that for the maximum, so maximum was 31, right. So you have to find the minimum in a common thing. So uh, in both, so add them and subtract the total number of people, okay. And if you have to find the maximum, so take the lower of the two values. Next question, in March, what is the least number of people surveyed? Who are likely to buy at least one of MacBook and iPhone? So, if we talk about Mac, uh, March, MacBook and iPhone, how many are likely to buy? So, likely to buy MacBook is 18, and likely to buy iPhone is 59. Okay, so we have to find the minimum number of people who are likely to buy at least one of MacBook and iPhone. The general uh, Venn diagram will be like this. So if we put, let us say this is MacBook, this is iPhone. If we put the numbers 18 and 59, right, this will give us 77 people. Okay. Now, if we want to reduce this people, this audience, what we can do is we can uh, put common value here, right? So putting more common value reduces the count. So if you have to reduce, if you put one here, we will get six, uh, 17 and 58. So up to what value can we maximum put here? We can put maximum 18 here. If you put 18 here, this will be 0. This will be 41. Right? So what we get? We get 59 as the total number of people. 
So the answer is 59. So this is by Venn diagram. Now logically thinking, you have to find minimum number of people who are likely to buy at least one item. Now here there are 59 items and there are 18 items, right? So what we can assume that all these 18 people are within these people. That is why we will get, see 50, the, the answer will be minimum 59. Minimum 59 people have to be there. Now if this 18 people are common in this eight, 59 people, then the total number of people will be just 59. But if these are different people, 18 people, so the total number will become 77. So if they ask maximum, so maximum would have been 77. In February, if among the persons surveyed, 14 persons said they were undecided to buy either MacBook or iPhone, what percentage of the total number of persons surveyed were undecided to buy both MacBook and iPhone? So in February, undecided to buy MacBook is 12 and undecided to buy Ma uh, iPhone is 5. Now it is saying 14 percent said that, 14 people said that. Right, so now we are getting total, uh, total uh, 17 people. Right, 17 people are responding and the number total given is 14 here. It's like first question. Right, so that means there is 3 extra. Right, 3 has to be a common number. So, what percentage of people surveyed were undecided to buy both? So, that will be 3%. Because 3 people were common, 3%. Now, we are given extra information that the same set of 100 persons were surveyed in each of the 3 given months. The number of persons who responded in the same manner regarding the likelihood of buying iPhone in Feb and March is at most. Now, we have to find for iPhone in Feb and March and they responded in the same manner okay now if i look at the data of this thing very unlikely and 18 said very unlikely in feb and 21 said to say, said very unlikely in march okay now if i consider that 18 people these are some set of people x these are some people set of now these are among uh, the total 100 are from the same 100 now, if 18 say this, 21 say this. One possibility is that these are different set of people X, these are different set of people Y. So, but what we have to do is, we have to tell who responded in the same manner. So, zero responding in same manner. We can take common one person, right, and have, like we can have Venn diagram like this, X and Y. If you put zero common, we will get 18 and 21. Now, think what maximum common we can put we can put one common we can put two common and similarly these numbers will reduce so maximum we can go up to 18 we can maximum go up to 18 common uh, so basically in this what we have to see is the lower of the two values so 18 people can respond in the same manner maximum 18 suppose these 18 people said very unlikely now these are same 18 plus 3 change their decision okay so we can get same 18 people in both so minimum we will get 18 here in this scenario we will get 8 people same so suppose there are 8 people and 13 people so these 8 people said somewhat unlikely okay and 5, five new people said like 5 people change their decision so that will be 8 so we will take the lower of the two values so 18 plus 8 that is 26 31 65 okay 65 plus 21 86 and uh, 86 plus 5 91 so we will get 91 people maximum 91 people who can have the same response in uh, same response in both the months okay so what we do is we take the lower of the two values uh, common and that is the people that have same response the same set of 100 persons, so same we are considering that all these people are same. And the number of persons who are very unlikely to buy MacBook in two or more of the three months is at least. So very unlikely to buy MacBook. Okay. Very unlikely to buy MacBook is if we see this, this total. Right, for three months is 96 plus 22, 118. Okay. So... Suppose uh, we find out that uh, how many are very unlikely to buy MacBook in 
in uh, uh, these uh, like at least we have to find at least how many of them are common in this okay so if you see this uh, if we add this we get 118 people so 118 people that means that we are getting 18 extra people right we are we have 18 extra from this okay so this unlikely to buy macbook in two or more of the three months so we are getting 118 people right so the, we are we get 18 extra people uh in this and uh, suppose we have 50 people in the first month then 46 new people now we are left with four more people so we can put four here and we will get 18 repeat so that is why this number will be 18 okay if we talk about this uh, uh, in two or uh, two or more of the three months so minimum 18 people will repeat so if we take unique so we get the answer as 18 okay so we consider this new 50 people then we consider this 46 a new set of people okay and uh, then if we consider 22 more people four we will be able to fill those 100 but 18 will repeat so there will be minimum 18 people who will uh, be repeating this and hence the answer will be 18 so this is the answer to the questions uh, associated with this set